Hello class, today we're going to be talking about our second assignment that needs to be done today in class, which is scale, factor, perimeter, and area for October 8th. Now, uh, once you open up Google Classroom, you'll see that the first assignment is actually what I want you to complete right now. So again, scale, factor, perimeter, and area for October 8th. And uh, once you open up the document, it should look like this. Now, as you're going through this assignment, you're going to notice that you're going to be referring back to this first page again and again. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do is to find pairs of similar figures. So if you look right here, it's the first thing it's asking you is name a pair of similar rectangles, and please, please, please use full sentences. I just don't want you to say that A and B are your similar figures. No, tell me the similar figures that I see are rectangle blank and rectangle blank. All right. I need also need a, an explanation of how you know these figures are similar. You will need to find the perimeter and area of both of these figures. So for example, if rectangle A and rectangle B are your similar figures, you'll need to include the perimeter for rectangle A and the perimeter for rectangle B. And if you look in Google Classroom, if you get a little bit mixed up between area and perimeter, there is actually a help video that you can view right here that should help you with area and perimeter. Now from here, I want to show you an example of what you might have to do on this assignment. So here we have a shortened version of all the rectangles that we saw on the previous page. And I needed to find two triangles, I'm sorry, two rectangles that are similar. So the first thing I want to check is the dimensions of our shape. So I see that this is three units tall. This is one, two, three, four, five, six units wide. Over here, we have a shape that's five units tall. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units wide. Lastly, we have shape C that's six units tall and 12 units wide. Now, I'm trying to look for which figures are similar to one another, and that means that they're increasing by a scale factor um, of the same amount. So I'll notice right here, there's nothing I can really multiply 3 by to get to 5. So this isn't really going to help me out. So right off the bat, I can assume that these two figures are not similar. Now I notice that I have a width here of 3 units, and here I have a width of 6 units. So I can assume, well, to go from 3 to 6, I have to multiply by a factor of 2. And to go from 6 units to 12 units, well, I'm multiplying by a factor of 2 again. So I know that rectangles A and C are similar. And again, that's because I know as I'm going to the width, I'm multiplying by a factor of 2. And if I'm multiplying my height, I'm sorry, if I'm multiplying my height, I'm going up by a factor of 2, and the same thing with my width, I'm going up by a factor of 2. So that's how I know that these two shapes are similar. Now in the worksheet, or the Google Doc I should say, when you're completing it, you're going to need to find three pairs of similar figures. So in total you'll have six um, rectangles. Now this doesn't mean that they all have to be similar to one another. For example, um, A and D can probably be similar to one another. I'm not saying that they are. A and D can be similar to one another, B and C can be similar to one another, and E and F can be similar to one another. So we're looking for similar pairs. So again, you're first going to tell me which figures are similar to one another. Secondly, you're going to tell me how you know that they're, those rectangulars are similar. Next, you find the area and perimeter. Explain how the perimeter changed between those two similar figures, and explain how the area changed between those similar figures. And again, you'll have to do this three times. So for part two, you have to name another pair of similar rectangles. And for part three, you'll have to do the same thing. Now lastly, you will have to summarize what you're doing. So do the best job you can of summarization. Please be detailed. Don't tell me that the shapes are getting bigger or that they're getting wider. Tell me by how many units. Describe the height. Describe the length. Describe the width. Do what you can to be as detailed as possible so that those threes are turning into fours. If you have any questions, as always, please feel free to email me. As always, you can just message me by clicking this envelope, typing a new message. If you type in my first name, I should come up right here. 
and send me a message. I still should be available to answer any of your messages. Just know that if you do not finish this today, that's okay. We will have some time in class to work on this tomorrow. If you have any questions, again, please email me.